Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the new concept that is Jasmine Spice. So up to now, we have seen about creation of this, what I can say, uh, suit, specs, matchers and all those things we have learned. And we have learned about this uh, setup and tear down life cycle methods before all, before each, after all, after each. These are all the things we have learned, right? Now let's, uh, it's, uh, it's time to move to a new concept that is Jasmine Spice. So what is this? spice so let's try to understand why we need to use this spice and what is the use case for jasmine spice so why we need to use this spice exactly what is the reason for using the spice in a testing in a unit testing framework let's try to understand so this is not applicable for only jasmine so for every testing framework spice will be there test double spice so whatever the name it may be so they will be calling with the different names so we need to learn about this jasmine spice first we need to understand before creating a spy or anything why we need to use this spy that is the main reason we need to understand so let's try to understand so in this video we will see the use case where jasmine spies are really useful for our application so let's try to see it jasmine is made for unit testing so we already know about this one jasmine is made for unit testing that is correct unit tests are supposed to test only one component of your application so this is the main thing this is the main fundamental for the unit test unit test are supposed to test only one component of your application one component here the name indicates one component what is this uh, exact meaning for this component let's try to see component means that it can be a function an object or a module so that means it can be a function or an object or a module so whatever may be so i am generalizing that concept in here as a component so the unit test means it will it will try to test only a particular piece of code so basically everything self-contained so that means a function is there means so everything should be self-contained in that one only object means it should be have self-contained in, in that one only so it should not go to the outside function to ask for data okay so the function means within that function it should have all the data in init only so it should not go to the external resources or external another method asking for data like that it should not go it should be self-contained that acts like a black box to the outside world so outside world so it will not uh, interpret with the outside world so it will not communicate with the outside world so it will be in the self self contained like that only so that is that main unit testing is intended to test those type of components you usually want to avoid that your unit test fail you usually want to avoid that your unit test fail because of another component fail so this is the main thing you need to avoid it so for example if your logic has if your function has been failed means because of another function what is the whatever the external 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 dependencies that you are using in that function if your present testing component failed means so those type of things we should avoid it in the unit testing that's why you want to test your components in isolation as much as possible so that means that components are the function or anything so that should be tested in isolation as much as possible so this is the main thing fundamental in the unit testing so if you are testing a function means that function should be isolated so it, it should not have any dependencies so that is the thing i want to explain you now we will try to understand so now in our application so if you try to see our application let me open our application so that we'll you will understand easily so let us open our uh, calculator project sorry yeah here if i open this calculator project so this is our calculator project if you try to see this, this main dot, for example, if you see, go to the calculator.js file and here in this calculator.js file, so the, the methods, each methods which are having the function and this add function, subtract, multiply, divide. So these all functions are not dependent on the other function. So that means it is a self-contained. So it has a logic inside this add only. So it, it does not depend on any other external resources to get the data. So here, yeah, subtract, multiply, divide are all the one and the same only. Now let's try to see our main.js file. Okay, this is our main.js file. So if you try to see in our main.js file, we have a function called calculate. If you look at this function, we have some dependencies. So that is the thing I want to tell you. So in our use case, in our main.js file, we have a function called calculate method. So yeah, we have a function. And if you look at this function, we have some dependencies. Let's try to see that one. The dependencies are calculate hyphen add, calculate hyphen multiply, and other methods in the calculator. These are called as dependencies. Now let's try to see our main.js file. If I try to open this main.js file, this is the calculate method. 
and in this calculate method if you try to see this minimum in this method this one is dependent on the calculator dot add so that means this is an external function this function is dependent on this external function that means calculator dot js file so for example if any error occurs in this calculator dot add file okay in this calculator dot add file automatically the test cases which you write uh, representing this calculator dot file will fail automatically but it is not intended that this calculator method is failing because of this external dependency calculator dot add is failing for that reason this calculate method is failing so this is not the ideal thing this is not the actual fail of the calculate method this is happened this this test case is failed because of this add failure so that should not happen so that means it is having a dependency in this add so add subtract multiply divide these are all the dependencies this is called as the calculate method is depend on the dependent on the external methods so that is the thing i want to explain you here and next one what we will try to see is these dependencies are not good for testing because if the real functions fail then our calculate method suit in main.js suit also fails so now because if the real functions means nothing but the calculator dot add subtract multiply if those all failed means then the calculator method which we have created in our main.js suit those also fails it depends on the calculator function to pass so that means the calculate method is depending on the calculator function to pass if calculator methods pass only then our suit also passes so this is the dependency we are having for the calculate method in the main.js file this type of failure will be a false failure because it is failing just because of the dependency with calculate method not just because of the coding side so not because, because it is failing not because of this logic which is present in the calculate method because it is failing because of the dependencies that that is present for the dependencies for the calculator method so because of this calculator failing this entire spec is failing so that is not the correct behavior right so now we need to isolate those dependencies we also we need to isolate those dependencies because of that reason because of that reason we need to isolate those dependencies now the calculate method should not depend on this calculator add and all those things we should it should not depend so we need to isolate those dependencies and also we have another dependency in calculate method that is update result so let's try to see that one update result so if you try to see this update result here here we are having this update result okay so this update update result is whether we are dependent on this what i can say operation and all the things it is dependent so this is also an external function although it is present in the main.js file itself but it is an external function so that means it has a the calculate method is has a dependency on this update result so that is also a dependency the this update result method is present inside the main.js file but uh, but it is also a dependency for the calculate method that is the main thing you need to understand we don't want these dependencies to execute when we write suit for the calculate method so this is the main thing we not we want it we don't want these dependencies to execute so we don't want these dependencies to execute when we write a suit or specs for the calculate method okay that is the main thing we need to isolate those dependencies this is the use case for spice in the jasmine so here where the spice comes into picture so in order to isolate those dependencies in order to test this calculate method so without executing those dependencies methods so nothing but without executing this update result what are the dependencies we are having here without actually executing these all methods we want to write the test case for the calculate method so that means we are isolating all those dependencies this is the place where spice comes into picture in order to solve this type of dependencies issues that is the main reason why we need to use this jasmine spice in the spec in the suit so in the next video what we will now you understood about this uh, jasmine spice right why we need to use this jasmine spice in order to isolate the dependencies in order to isolate the dependencies so that the test so that in order to write the correct testing we use the jasmine spice so that is the main reason we will use the jasmine spice in the next video you will see what is an actually a spy so how the what are the different types of spice available in the jasmine and what are the spy matchers available let's try to see in this next video hope you understood about this jasmine spice concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you